Welcome to this tutorial. Let's learn how to play your own external content in Heavy M2. In addition to visual effects, Heavy M2 allows you to add another type of content, multimedia sources. Multimedia sources are stored in the sources bin on the right side of the interface. From this panel, you can import any kind of multimedia content. For example, images, GIFs, videos, but also ready-made effects called shaders, siphon spout streams, live cam streams, and finally, text. Let's start by importing a simple video. So here's the thing you should know about multimedia sources. They need to be displayed in a specific shape to appear on your mapping. This shape is called a player. You'll find it in the toolbar. To add a player in your mapping, just drag and drop the icon in the canvas. Then, adjust the size by using the shortcut Alt plus drag. Now, click on the little target icon on the video thumbnail to connect it with the player. Note that you can connect the same source to as many players as you want at the same time. Okay, what if we make this video display inside the faces of a group? To do this, just click on the little display icon in the layers panel, like this. Players can also automatically display several videos, one after the other. First, make sure you have selected the player. In the sources bin, click on the plus icon and select playlist in the list. Click on the plus icon again, select video and choose the media that you want in your mapping. Then click on the target icon to connect your playlist with the player. Now that your media are stored and displayed, you can open the settings of each one to set up their duration, speed, volume, and other stuff. Like the other shapes, the players and their content can be combined with effects. Make sure your player is below the other faces in the layers panel. Otherwise, you won't see the effects applied. Let's try some group effects. Hmm, not bad. Finally, we can also add ready-to-use effects called shaders. For now, let's focus on the player-specific shaders. You can find them in the Properties panel once you have selected your player. Add a shader by clicking on the plus button next to Effects. From this window, you have a wide range of effects that will be applied directly to the content of your player. Let's say this one. You can modify these parameters on the fly and see your mapping change at the same time. What's more, you can also combine those effects Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more help resources or visit our help center to learn more about Heavy M2.